Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin, and joining me live on the phone, I welcome our Director of Senior Services, Madeline Noonan. Maddie, good morning. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Good morning to I'm, you, too. I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, nice to talk with you. So a uh, number of things to talk about today. Uh, first, I want to talk about a grant. Uh, this is a pretty sizable grant that's coming from the Massachusetts Executive Office of Elder Affairs uh, up for acceptance at this week's town council meeting. Yeah. This is a formula grant that we receive um, from the state of Massachusetts through the Executive Office of Elder Affairs. Um, and what they do is every year um, the state legislature approves a certain amount um, for councils on aging um, for the state to help support our programs and services. And the way that they work it out is through the um, senior census in each community. So we're currently using the 2010 census data, um, and uh, per that we had 12,845 residents over the age of 60 in Barnstable. Um, so what happens every year at the state level is um, they approve um, a, a a, like a, 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 a dollar amount um, that then is multiplied by the amount of seniors in each community. So this year uh, it was actually funded at $9 per senior, which was up from $8 per senior for FY15. So for us, that, that's a net result, um, a net gain for us of $12,845 on last year's amount. So the total amount that we receive is $115,605, which is, you know, it's a sizable significant amount of funding um, that really goes a long way in helping us ensure that we can provide quality services to the community. Absolutely. So a nice uh, extra $12,000 in funding. Maddie, how is this grant used uh, in the well, Department of Senior Services? One of the great things about this grant is that, um, you know, there's a lot um, of flexibility in how we can, you know, use the funds. Um, for a number of years now, we have primarily paid for a number of staff positions that are very critical um, to, you know, our successful operations. Um, for example, our, our activity coordinator who schedules all of the activities and events that we have here at the Senior Center and serves as a liaison to all of the clubs and groups that meet here, um, her position is funded full time um, out, out, of, out of the formula grant. And also our marketing and special events coordinator, which is a part-time position, is fully funded. Um, and in addition to that, we partially fund our outreach coordinator and custodian positions. Um, and then with whatever little bit is left after all of those positions are paid, um, we can help um, offset some of the cost of um, mailing out our newsletter, um, helping out with van repair costs, which can be quite expensive. Um, so it really does go a long way and it helps us in many areas. I mean, really, it, it helps all of our programs here. Indeed, and of course, uh, Maddie, this is something that we uh, expect every year uh, from from the, the state of Massachusetts, correct? Yeah, yes. This has been something that we have been very fortunate year after year to receive and to actually see it increase. I, I can tell you that when I started here in 2007, I think at that time we were getting, um, it was 6 or $7 a senior. So the fact that despite, you know, the economic downturn, um, that the amount which had been level funded for a number of years, but the last couple of years we've seen it really increase, um, which is more in line with, you know, um, the, the number of seniors that we have in our community. As you know, Barnstable, um, we have, you know, over 28% of our population is over 60, so it's a sizable um, portion of our community, and, you know, we need to make sure that our services are, you know, responsive to the needs, and this formula grant really helps us make that possible. Of course, and so this will be before town council this Thursday night for their acceptance of that yeah, grant. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. How soon, Maddie, is that funding available? Is it something that's available right away, or does it come in the next Yeah, year? actually, the way it works is we can start, you know, um, using the funding, even though we don't officially receive it because of the contracts and, and the way things happen um, with the, working with the state. Um, we actually start, it's a fiscal year grant, so we start expending, um, you know, money from that, you know, right at the beginning of the fiscal year every year. Great. Uh, Maddie, let's move on and talk a little bit about the visioning session. Of course, the needs assessment uh, recently completed, very successful, and coming out of that uh, now are these visioning sessions, and one was held last week, if I remember correctly. Tell me a yeah. little bit about uh, the function of this session. Yeah, well, as a follow-up to our recently completed needs assessment process, which we've talked about a number of times um, and, you know, was a big project for us to undertake, you know, we received a, a fully completed document, which gives us a really comprehensive overview of our older, 
you know, and our, our older old and our younger old population in the town. And now moving forward, you know, we need to look at that uh, report and figure out how we're going to implement the recommendations um, that were contained. Um, you know, so for us, that really means that our work begins. Um, so we wanted to keep the momentum going. And so it was very important for us, you know, to do a couple of things. We wanted to invite all of the people that had been a part of the process with the various elements of the needs assessment um, and the community members that had participated um, you know, decision makers in town, aging service providers. We wanted to bring everybody together sort of full circle and, and share the findings with them, which we did um, at a visioning session on October 24th. And we had a packed house. We had about 135 people that showed up at the senior center, which was just wonderful, a great show of support. And, you know, so following up on that, we had let people know on that day that we would be conducting a visioning session on November 12th, which was really for us to get a little bit more specific in each of our program areas. Um, and what we wanted to do was sort of develop, you know, and create a vision within each of our existing program areas and also, you know, to look at some of the unmet needs and issues that maybe are emerging that we haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to. Um, so we had over 70 people come last Thursday evening um, from 4 to 6 to the Senior Center, and we had topic tables set up. Um, you know, we had one for transportation. We had one for caregivers. Um, we had one for housing because housing was such an important issue um, in the report, um, one for how we share information with the community and so forth. So we had, all told, we had nine um, topic tables, and the session was facilitated by Kathy Schatzberg, who is very well known as the former president of Cape Cod Community College. College. And really, it was an opportunity for each of the tables to sit and have a conversation, um, come up with some ideas and some visions, and and then you know put all of this together. All the information was shared back at the end of the two-hour session. It was a very lively and engaging discussion. There were some really great um, issues that came up. I mean, most importantly was how important um, and essential the Senior Center is to help people be able to age in place in our community and how we want to make sure that we're building upon that um, as our population rapidly ages. And so now we will um, – well, actually, tomorrow we have a meeting with our board, the Council on Aging, and also the Friends of the Barnstable Council on Aging, our fundraising wing, and the staff again, with Kathy Schatzberg, to really have discussions <coughs> about our mission and our core values. And all of this is going to culminate in a report like that will ser serve as our action plan as we move forward um, and sort of help us with, you know, our strategic planning for the short and long term. So it's very exciting. It's great to be finally, you know, working on this, um, you know, very important stuff. Absolutely. Maddie, and of course, Thanksgiving coming up, uh, the Turkey Trot, a big event at the Senior Center. Tell me a little bit about this year's Turkey Trot. This is our 13th year, I believe, of doing this, and it's just such a wonderful, heartwarming, you know, um, event that we put together every year, really through our outreach department. I have to give huge thanks to Claudia Borden and Judy Red, who are our outreach coordinators here, who plan um, this meal, which is basically a fully cooked, um, delicious, homemade Thanksgiving meal that is then delivered to about 125 homebound seniors around the town of Barnstable, um, so that these seniors that otherwise would be alone get to enjoy, you know, a nice meal like all of the rest of us that are fortunate to spend it with family and friends. Um, so we, it's a huge effort. I mean, it's really volunteers, staff, so much community support. Uh, I know this year we've received donations from the Needy Fund, from the Friends of the Barnstable Council on Aging, um, Cumberland Farms, the Centerville Pie Company, Guaranteed Fresh, uh, Coca-Cola and Trader Joe's have all made donations of food, flowers, um, pies. I mean, it's, it's a, really a soup to nuts meal. And we also have had um, the local 4-H program and um, local Girl Scouts that actually do um, some additional little projects that accompany the meal. Um, we've had some of our seniors that come into the lobby every day sit and color um, pictures that will decorate each of the bags that the meals are delivered in. So it's it's so much more than a meal. I mean, it really is. And, and for a lot of the volunteers that come back year after year, it's become part of their Thanksgiving tradition that, um, you know, it's part of their holidays making sure that they're helping somebody in need by delivering this meal and bringing them some, you know, holiday cheer. It's, it's a really, truly wonderful event that we always look forward to every year at the Senior Center. And is this year's Turkey Trot taking place? 
It's actually going to be next Wednesday. Um, so we will be cooking and prepping and getting everything ready to go, and our volunteers will come in um, and bring the meals out to deliver them. So the meal is usually delivered the day before Thanksgiving. But, you know, it's more than just a one-day meal as well. I mean, included in there is a loaf of bread that Cumberland Farms donates that um, the people who receive a meal can actually make. You know, the best part of Thanksgiving is having a turkey sandwich the next day, I think, you know, I so that so they, they, can, they can make, you know, there's plenty of leftovers in there. Um, you know, we're so happy to be able to do this year after year. And I, the acknowledgement that we get from people, the thank you cards um, and gratitude that people let us know that they feel, you know, so it's, it's so gratifying to them that they were thought of over the holidays. It really um, is, a, it just makes us feel good about what we do and, and how important it is. Um, also, just thinking of Thanksgiving, Sarah, I'd love to thank the Friends of the Barnstable Council on Aging. They recently had um, their annual fundraising event, which was the Masquerade Ball, um, and it was absolutely wonderful. We had um, a huge turnout at the Highness Golf Course. There was a silent auction and a live auction, um, and the good news is that they raised over 10000 I think it was close to $11,000, um, and all of this money will come back to help the Senior Center through our various programs, including the donation that the Friends make to help Turkey Trot happen every year. So we couldn't do it alone, and we're very grateful for their support. Absolutely. Maddie, and I thank you so much, uh, as always, for joining us here on Barnstable. Great. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Sarah. Thank you. Likewise. All right, take care. Bye-bye bye bye now. Bye-bye. Madeline Noonan, of course, is our Director of Senior Services for Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin.